Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Gemini. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2020 in regards to romance. Now the card that represents your partner or person of interest is the Knight of Swords. The obstacle to overcome is the Eight of Cups. And your energy is the Two of Swords, Gemini. All right. Okay, so what Spirit is saying here is with the Knight of Swords, I feel that you guys are experiencing or feeling like you're burnt out, like there is something is weighing very heavy on your mind gemini and i feel that it has a lot to do like with responsibilities for some of you guys for others of you it could just be that it, it almost feels like there's a lot of things going on in your life where your energy is very distracted with the knight of swords in this deck if you look you can see the person kneeling and it's almost a feeling like of being extremely overwhelmed now, the Knight of Swords could indicate a message that comes very quickly to you. Um, and it's it, it could be your partner uh, communicating or trying to communicate a feeling of overwhelmingness. It, it's like a lot of, I feel, it's, it's almost a feeling like, you know, when in the movies you see like, the, like your partner, what is it called like when your life flashes right before your eyes it, it's a feeling of that but it's almost like an overwhelming feeling like a lot of things are happening all at once and i feel that for some of you guys it's almost a feeling like like your partner's feeling like they can't communicate with you because you're very defensive but i think that it has more to do with the fact of being overwhelmed for some of you guys it could be that you guys have been experiencing like an overwhelmingness of working very long hours for some of you guys it could be that um you just have a lot of things going on not just work-wise but you know in your home in general now i do have here the two of swords and this is the energy that this is how you're viewing your partner. And the Two of Swords indicates having the need to find balance, having the need to take some time to connect with how you're feeling. It's like, for some of you guys, it could be that you are basically doing your routine on an everyday basis and not really acknowledging your feelings or not really even having the time to take a deep breath and what spirit is telling you is that there is a need for balance here now you do have the eight of cups and the eight of cups could indicate walking towards a new beginning but it can also you know connect uh on an emotional level it's about acknowledging what has been lived or what has been experienced in order to go towards your new beginning with that wisdom and I feel that for some of you guys, it could be almost a feeling of like your partner's not understanding you, like they're not being supportive or perhaps they're not being understanding. For some of you guys, it could be that your partner is extremely demanding or you're feeling like they're being extremely demanding and they're not really, you know, being compassionate or understanding towards the 10,000 things that you have to do throughout the day. Um, because it's almost like this frustration that's been culminating, that's been growing as time has progressed. And it's like, again, you're refusing to acknowledge that you're overwhelmed or you're refusing to open up to your partner and letting them know that you are stressed um, and that their neediness is becoming an issue. Um and again, I feel that for some of you guys, it's almost like you're not, it's like you're trying, I see you guys taking it and taking it and taking it. And I see them like bickering and bickering or asking too much from you. And you don't want it to get to the point of like exploding. 
or snapping at them because you've been dealing with this feeling of overwhelmingness for quite a while now. And again, there's a need of balance. So my advice to you guys is take at least 10 to 15 minutes throughout the day to really either meditate or anchor yourself because I feel that you guys are just living on everyday basis. You know, whatever comes your way, you deal with it. And I feel that you're kind of like you're you're on in this energy of, you know, going with the flow because if you feel like you can't take a deep breath, you can't slow down. If I slow down and I process what I'm feeling, things are just going to keep adding up and I just want to deal with it because I don't want more things or I don't want, you know, other responsibilities to get backed up because I'm taking a deep breath. So what Spirit is telling you is you need to slow down, Gemini. You need to really find the balance. If your partner is being too needy, if they're demanding too much, if they're expecting too much, you need to speak up. Now, for those of you guys that are dealing with, uh, are not in a serious relationship, but are dealing with someone at the present time, this could be their energy. This could be that they themselves are like overworked or they have a lot of things going on right now behind the scenes. And there is a need to want to communicate but not being able to communicate and this could be you or this could be the partner vice versa it is a general reading but i feel that someone in this connection is very stressed or overwhelmed and they just don't feel that opening up or speaking up about how they're feeling is gonna fix anything of anything i think that some of you guys may be feeling like it's gonna make it worse but what spirit is telling you here is that you need you need to let go of that frustration. And the only way to do that is to acknowledge it, not suppress it, to deal with it head on. Um, if you are dealing with someone and they are, you know, constantly texting you or calling you and, and then they complain that you don't text back or whatnot, like speak up, let them know like, hey, it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm not interested in you. It has more to do that I am on a busy schedule at the moment. Um, you know, because I feel that there is lack of, there's lack of self-love here. And it has more to do with, like, dealing with everyone else's BS and evading the emotion or the stress that you're dealing with at the present time. Now, let's see what Spirit's uh, final message is for you. I think that what they're saying here, Gemini, is that it's important for for our health to maintain a balance and sometimes we need to unplug we need to disconnect we need to step back take a deep breath see things from a different perspective in order to be able to approach it head on um, and I think that that's something that's necessary for you to do at the present time because it's almost like it's almost the feeling like you're not doing enough is what they're telling you, but it's like you feel like you're being pulled towards different directions. For some of you guys, it could be as simplistic as your partner wanting more time with you and you're just working too much. But for others of you, it could be that the partner is being extremely needy or extremely demanding and you're trying to accommodate them because you're not trying to argue or you're not trying to start or steer up anything, but it's a lot. It's a lot for you to take in and you gotta, you know, your mental health comes before anything else, Gemini. So I think it's important for you to balance and to anchor yourself or to meditate to be to help you anchor your energy. Okay, and your final message here for this situation is rejuvenation. Exactly, exactly what I was feeling. It's almost like there is so much going on in your life, Gemini, where I feel that like your partner could be like expecting or wanting a little bit too much right now. And there is almost like a feeling of ex exhaustion for some of you guys, whether it be on the physical aspect or whether it be on a mental aspect. But there is a need for you to reconnect with yourself, to acknowledge what you're feeling, to ground yourself, to take a deep breath so that you can rejuvenate that energy, so that you can recharge, so that you can reconnect and be balanced and be able to deal with 
the craziness of life, but you need that time for yourself. So I would highly encourage you guys, if you guys, you know, can't find the time to just get away for a couple of days, then my suggestion would be to meditate, to help you, um, to help you anchor yourself, ground yourself, as well as to be able to recharge your batteries. I think it's something very needed at this present time. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.